I'm just gonna show off 1.5. Oh, oh. Okay, hey guys. So, I'm pretty sure all you have known, Minecraft 1.5 has came out officially today on the 13th. So... Hold on, I haven't even started. I don't have any of my test pads because they've all got upgraded to 1.5. I have no mods, those have to upgrade to 1.5. And if you guys have seen my Galacticraft series, you can check that out. This is a reboot of my old series. Uh, if you saw those, I have, like, stopped doing those, I, because I had other things to do. I think I explained why in my first Galacticraft. The hell? Oh. Oh, sorry, guys. This is the wrong world. Sorry, I, I don't want to do this. Um, but here, I'm going to create a new world and just basically show you the, um, the 1.5 details what you can do pretty much uh... Where's the, where's the, what? oh, okay, I saw it uh, I was looking for cheats but I know pretty much everything you can do so, uh, yeah okay, you're gonna open this for my brother there we go. It's open. Okay, but there are many, many. Can you stop lagging? Come on, game. Stop. Stop. By the way, yesterday I got. Uh, the day before I got DokuCraft Lite. But I cannot run DokuCraft. Because it wants MC. God dang it. It wants MC Patcher and that sucks. And Opfine? I can't run both at the same time. That, that, that's just performance. Let's put that unbalanced. And let's change my particles to decrease. There were um, other things you can control in here. Oh yeah, they have like forward slash. I don't know what these do, but they have EFFE -F -F -E effects. Or was it effect? Effect? There it is, yeah. I don't know what that does. And then they have scoreboard. And then I can check the scoreboard of player's name and if we had like teams which I guess we can do why don't I fly I can also check that now here's the ones that I know right right off the bat under redstone now they have a block of redstone a hopper a dropper and a redstone comparator which is apparently really hard to use you've got to look at the wiki see what I can do a redstone lamp, a redstone torch, the weighted, yeah, I don't know why why I said the torch, the weighted pressure plate, which in this one, this one is gold, it is light, you don't need as much weight, and a w another weighted pressure plate, which is, this one is apparently heavy, you need a lot more weight, it's good for your doors, and a daylight sensor, hmm. You don't have Oh, I thought it was. Now I'll show you the daylight sensor. So a daylight sensor in this case you kind of need a redstone lamp and a redstone torch and some redstone. Now see if I place this down, okay you can't really tell. But I place the lamp to it, it turns it on. So now if I want to, when I do this, I can put a little light in a in a small little house and I can do this. And then as you see that turns it on automatically. But now if you want it to come only on when there is no daylight then what you do is you like do this take a torch and put it there and let's see if I can get this to work come on torch dude, do, do, do your thing the torch needs to turn off ah, um, okay, well I can't figure this out, I like, did it at school too but yeah, the torch is like supposed to turn off, and then if the torch turns off, then you're supposed to be able to do it, and yeah, and I think you kind of get where I'm going with this, and then it would, and then when this turns off, it that light would come on because of the torch. I don't know how to make it work. 
Okay, and then some really cool things. The minecart with, with TNT and oh, the minecart with a hopper. Which the hopper um, does very similar to the dropper, but the hopper will pick things up. So it will pick just about anything up, I'm pretty sure. And you can put it in the chest or something. I think it has to go in the chest. You can only put so many things in a hopper, though. I mean, there's only a certain amount. So, but anyways, the minecart with TNT, it's a bit straightforward. You need an activator rail, which is new. And detector rails don't work. But here's pretty much the minecart with TNT. Here's a rail. So... And then here's like a that. Oh, let's not put that there. Hold on. We we we're, we're gonna make this go a bit farther. Yeah. Oh, cool. It fits it now. And then I do have an idea to use with the daylight sensor. That how I'm gonna mine. I do have an idea. So. Hey guys, I have figured out. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Sorry. One thing I can figure out how to do. In inventory contact checkers but if I if you you cannot obtain these in survival they are not buildable it's partially implanted but see if you right click on it the third torch becomes active and I'm pretty sure no oh oh and you want to put it next to a container which can be any of this and it can be razor large or trapped or a detector car with a minecart, a, a detector wheel with a minecart and chest, or a chest, a minecart with a hopper or a chest on it. There we go. I just figured out how to do that now. How to do the chest thing with the hopper and all. You've got to have this. Maybe I should try using an activator rail. That might be a good thing to do. I just remembered what he did. I was doing it partially clear. No, 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 no. Regular chest. Bless you. And, but if you want to, these are how these are made. Redstone torch, redstone torch, redstone torch. That's the ore for nether quartz. And then stone, stone, stone. Just flat out stone. If you want, it's up there. Redstone comparator. Which I still think I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um... What did I do? Getting... Oh, no, uh, that's right. That's what nether quartz looks like. That's another star. There's a... Blip. But nether quartz is like that. And I'll show you the nether quartz. See? Nether quartz. There's nether quartz on the ground. In my fancy version. Okay... No, not that. And then let's put the activator rail here. This it. Put this minecart with a. No, stay there. Then you're supposed to put things in this hopper, so like Dan, Dan, Dan. And then. I need this and I need this. And now I have two chests. And now let's see if I'm right about this. I think I have an issue. Go back. Go back. Maybe you stay there. Will it pass under there? It will. 
Guys, I'm sorry, but I do not think this worked. I have stuff in there, right? Yeah? No. Okay. Well, then. Let's get back to this. So, what I can do is, I guess... Something that's somehow supposed to tell me the amount of stuff I have in here. Okay, let, let, let's try putting stuff in it. Oh, and see that? And now it tells me I have... Well, I don't know how you really tell that. Inventory chicken output. When the container is empty, the output is obviously off. When the... When it is not empty, the output... Signal strength is calculated as followed. Yeah, you guys want to do the math, you can go ahead and do that. So, yeah. It, um, apparently 300 blocks in a dispenser in this case, which has 9 slots, produces output with a signal strength of 8. There's an example. Items that cannot be stacked like minecarts are considered a full stack of 64 items. A dispenser filled with 9 minecarts will, will output a full strength 15 blocks of signal. Okay guys, yeah, I just kind of recorded all that, but I made this work now, as you can see, not as enthusiastic. This, well, um, if you try to do a hopper, it will be deactivated by a redstone signal. So if it has redstone leading to it, you cannot do it. Why won't this go? Hopper, go away. Because this is a minecart. So you cannot use redstone for these hoppers. But what, I made this work, so see? Gone, gone. And then it goes here. And then it went in there. This is 8. It's 2.5 second, which is 8 game tits. However much that is. And then you can also do this. And so it won't collect stuff from the bottom. But it does collect stuff from the top. And it will stack things in there. And now see? And then I can actually have a whole freaking collection of hoppers with like a mine or something. Ugh. But yeah. So this is how you do it. You've got to have like redstone, redstone, and then have the torch. It's got to be down a block. And then the redstone can go up or down or whatever you want to do. Yeah. And then it activates at night instead because the redstone here, this turns off. And then so on and so forth. So guys, I'm going to make a big finale with stuff you guys will find out, so. Okay guys, I am back. I'm kind of guessing some of you have figured out what I'm doing. I don't know for a fact, but yeah, um, TNT is definitely involved. I can promise you that greatly. I'm almost done, I just, god damn it. Need to add my activator rails and all. God dang it. So yeah. Anyways, activator rail here. Activator rail here. For... Uh, my god, I keep getting rid of these. It should stay here. For no necessary whatsoever, what, for no necessary reason whatsoever. God dang it. Um, we're gonna put a powered rail there, and this apparently will not blow up the track. I don't know why, but it won't. I tried, and then activator rail here. Huh? What the hell? It doesn't connect. Okay, redstone does not flow, flow through the activator to a power rail. That's weird. And then... Minecart with TNT here. And then... Minecart with TNT here. Can I? Nah. Minecart with TNT one going down. Just murder my redstone. 
Minecart with TNT two gear going down. And then crappy hell. Hold on, let me replace this. But as you can tell it does not destroy the truck. And then minecart T with TNT three going down and stop. And bam. See it doesn't destroy the truck, I don't know why. Now to see something, I've never placed TNT near a truck. Um so just to see. Oh hey, it didn't murder my torch. Yay. Will this TNT blow up your trap? Yes! Regular TNT blows up your trap. Minecart TNT does not because I'm pretty sure they were planning we were using that for mine. So anyways guys, there's... That's pretty much everything on all that. But, I can do one more thing. So, you guys want to see a mining expedition? Quite a big one, too. And this is definitely going to involve TNT. Why did I start saying I don't know. And I'll show you what I want to do with this. This will be how, how it will all be done. Because this is going to be awesome, you know. I don't start placing these on any so screwed up. I'm just gonna No, I probably should not have nothing I can use this. Also Um God dang it. You cannot There is something you cannot do with um redstone blocks. Or something like that. I can't remember. But yeah, something you could not do with redstone. But anyways, this is a new mining system I kind of encourage you guys to, to use. If you can. And I'll show you it after I'm done mining the mine. If the sand would ever stop falling down. And you can also do this with the daylight sensor. I'll show you to do it both ways. And we'll see what we get. Pretty sure you guys can guess where I'm going with this. Considering of what I've done. Um, anybody who thinks they know where I'm going with this. And hasn't seen the other part of the video yet. Comment. Just comment. You know. Comment at. Comment. What you saw. What you think's going on. And what the time on the video is. Yeah, man, let me know. Hmm, I want to see something. Well, let's see. Let's go to back so it doesn't screw up anything. And see, do these redstone blocks give off light? Do not have a redstone block. Redstone block. Lots of redstone do not give off light. They honestly should. They don't. Okay, light. Okay, now... I need a rail. 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 Not a powered rail, a regular rail. And you can put these anywhere in here. I mean, I don't care if you put them in order, halfway apart. And then, do I have my, my god, I don't have anything. Good. Why don't I just go here and put it? Carry it on a stick. Those are so cool. And then we're going to have this here. Will this connect? There. Oh, it does connect. That's good to know. And then, now, there are two ways you can do this that I know of. Uh, if I can get the first, if I, this one will work, if I can get the second one to work, I'll show it to you. But, um, yeah, th this is self-explanatory, you know. I mean, it's going to go down, and then this is a nice form of mining. And then see, 
I just mined out a small cavern. And you can repeatedly do this. No. It's dark down here now. But it's cool because it does not destroy your rail. It won't get rid of it. I don't know if you guys can see, so... So I'm just doing this so you guys can potentially see. There. And this is what the cavern looks like. Now if I can figure out the other way. Th this is also meant to be a long video. Longish. I don't know how long I can make it. Um, then let's see. Daylight sensors. No, uh, we need that. We need that. We don't need that. We may need it later. But if I like throw a daylight sensor here. And then throw out some redstone. Is it? We don't need that. Um, blocks of redstone, you know, like that. Hold on, let's get a physical block stone. And then, let's see. Um, whoa, sorry. Um, I should be able to put, like, a block of stone here. And a power drill here and here and get my redstone and bring it up and connect it to that which should play with that and then i should be able to get a minecart with tnt and i'm trying to make it so it goes down automatically I tried to do that before but i can't it never does it like i want it to and then there what Oh, it didn't work. Oh, you guys didn't get to see bigger thousand. I shall fix this. Fly for redstone once. Okay, guys. Now I show you big explosion. Can I get down and down? Yes, I can. Oh, and I got XP. And if any of you guys play Eurocraft or anything like that, Let yeah, check it out. And I'll try to use this mining technique. But anyways, it's not as big as a cavern as it could be, but it's a pretty big cavern, you know. Perfect. Cavern. Yeah. And 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 just for the hell of it, just well, it's completely true. Oh, apparently redstone blocks don't activate this. Oh yeah, it does. I'm invincible. I just get pushed around. Uh, there you guys go. And I suppose we will keep this world and see if we ever go back on it. Oh, I'm sorry, did we already do that? Oh, wow, I even found iron, guys. Hmm, let's see. Why? Oh, you can't? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Here, I'll show you what I, you can do with a house. I'll just use gold blocks, for example. This gold is epic looking. But this is how you can kind of use the daylight sensor to your advantage. Without having to put a hole in your house. What you can do is... This is just going to be a small little thing. Big enough to, you know, support it. But you can do this on any sized house. So basically what you do is that. Then you take this out. And you dig out the redstone, put it there, bam. And then this actually takes a bit of work to do. So then you go down like two, and then you take this out and find your red, your um, redstone lamp, yeah. And you take this, take this, and you can cover this up somewhat a bit later. And then put that, and then 
how I have my daylight sensor in my inventory. And then get a daylight sensor, which is obviously not going to work right now. Which is why in this case, you should probably use this at night. I'm going to use a torch. And see now? Now it's dead. Now it's lit up. And so you don't even need a house. You can do it without it. But and then see? Just remember, you can't cover this up or this. And if you want, you can put this down too. But if, I don't know if this would do glass. I honestly do not know. I think I'm going to try to figure that out. Da oh! Okay, I screwed it up. Um... Yeah, let's put that back up a block. Put that there. Right. I think it's got to connect to the physical daylight sensor. So... Should be off. Dang it, put that back. Oh, oh, I can't. I just burned out the redstone torch. I don't know if that's a bug, but I think I actually may submit that. I just burned out my redstone torch. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so let's try that once more and see what happens. You can burn out your redstone torch. I'm pretty sure that's a bug, guys. I'm gonna submit that to the people, you know. There we go. Now it's no longer doing it. I don't think this is working correctly. Because this is obviously part that is working. Place that there. I think I've got, don't I have to have like a block separating it? I'm definitely not that block. And then. Still giving it power? <sighs> hmm. Okay, well then. Let's see. Glass, glass, glass. Glass. Glass should go here. See if these daylight sensors work in glass. Because I don't know if this works in glass. But light does shine through glass, which is what I'm going by. And I think you can use these for doors and just about anything else that works with redstone, you know? So there. There's that. And... Where'd my redstone go now? Don't go oh, nope, nope, nope. It's right there. Now to see if it truly works. Now what should happen is in daytime, if I have glass, can't find the moon guys. Okay, well, the sun should be ready to, I like how you can see that from here. It's so bright. Well guys, I'm going to pause my video until day and wait. She said, like, here, uh, <coughs> 
Okay, guys. It does work through glass, as you can see right here. Just went. Now to try something else with the glass. To prove it actually works. What? 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 Okay, confusion. Yeah, my redstone lamp torch over there burned out. I, I don't know why or how, but it burned out. There. Now, light can still get in, but not as much. And yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this completely. Oh. There. Oh, look, it connects to the glass. Okay. But there. Yeah, it works. And then, th this did what it's supposed to, but it did it backwards. So, yeah. Wait, did it? Wait. No, it didn't. It did it right. It did it right. And see what's supposed to happen here is when it's night, this redstone will turn off. And so this lamp then will turn on because of the torch. I realize I didn't even realize that. I, did, I thought I did that wrong. This one, I can actually burn out this torch. Check it out. Well, so if I take this torch, take this off, put this here, and go bam, torch burns out. <laughs> I don't know why, but my torch burns out. And then this one, this one over here, I think after using them for a while, it's kind of like a real torch or something. But this one right here, it burnt out. I tried to cover it with glass, and it still burnt out. And see, if I place it, bam, burns out. I think it may be because of the rain. I'm going to test it. It's not, maybe. I don't know why that burnt out. I Oh, okay, yeah, why not? No, it still works. What about daylight today? No. It's not daylight here! Huh, awkwardness. Redstone there? Yeah, red, yeah, redstone. I don't know, guys. I don't know why it burned out. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I Is, guess it's wait. I guess Wait. it has to be level. No. It's supposed to be off, ain't it? It's no. supposed to be off. It's technically nighttime because of rain. So if I were to put this on... But when you um, put the torch, you play a whole piece of torch on there, it went out, but when it's all layered, it... Yeah, it's like supposed to be out. Because this daylight sensor, it's not it's not day, so this is going to go here, and and it doesn't activate the torch. But when it's daytime, because the redstone somehow makes the torch go off, so when it's not raining and it's nighttime, then this will turn off and the torch will activate. I feel like it can take, it go away. Because this is all working actually quite right. Except, except that one over there. Uh, it's I, not no, it, oh, it's, it's not raining. But this one that sorts out randomly. This is a bug. Because that is not... Is it supposed to happen? Is it? Only because the rain is somewhere else. Wait. It, this is also supposed to happen now. Because this would activate this. Probably also probably because it's cloudy. <laughs> but yeah, that's supposed to happen and all. Okay. Anyways, yeah, I fixed my technical bugs that I thought I had that I don't. But yeah, it works through glass. These are the coolest little things ever. I love the redstone lamps. So yeah, they work just like glowstone, and they actually light up a good amount for being redstone. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna go now. So bye.